Shalom. Shalom. Two brothers out of the Living Waters Church here in Atlanta. We like to start by giving all praises to Yahweh. Bashem. Yahweh. Bashem. Rakakwadash. Peace to the children of the Most High God. Shalom to y'all. And a special shalom to those laboring to be in the spirit of Lord Yahweh Shai. God, so uh, Lord willing, you're, you're laboring to be in the spirit of the Lord Yahweh Shai. Because if you're not, then you're doing everything in vain. <laughs> you're just tinkling. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you might as well, you might as well join the gap man. <laughs> a rat pack. <laughs> you just out here, you just out here spinning your wheels. <laughs> you're not laboring to be in the spirit of the Lord, you're how shy. Mm. You're out there trying to call people out, stand on the mm. avenue and get vain glory and cut people to smithereens. Yeah. You're, you're doing it all in vain. Yeah, you're not doing the Lord's service. That's not the Lord's service, and you're not trying to get a penny. You know, that ain't the penny. It's gone. But uh, we're going to continue with the lesson. Um, You know, how to, we're, we're going to continue with the lesson of uh, uh, ways to prove we are Israelites or children of God outside of slavery and curses. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, it's a sad thing that we can't identify ourselves by nothing but weakness, but it's the truth. <laughs> That's I'm right. sorry. I mean, I, I don't want it to be like that, but I mean, it is what it is. And that was the spirit I thought I was gonna tell you this. What's that, bro? On my profile picture on YouTube, uh -huh. I, you know, I got the uh, the the random Jake who hanging uh, on his neck. Yeah. And I was thinking about it. It's the spirit I put that as my profile picture because that's my heritage. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it the other day and I was like, oh shit, right. this is the spirit. I, I actually got this as my profile picture. That's heavy. A that's dude heavy. hanging from a noose sock. Cause why? Cause that's our heritage. Yeah, that's our heritage. That's right. <laughs> no, nothing but nothing but uh, oppression, slavery, and, and, and punishment for our iniquity. That's right. The punishment of our iniquity is our heritage. And that's a fact. That's a fact. That is our heritage. <laughs> we're, the guy, we're the people that wandered in the wilderness in circles. <laughs> it, it, it got it got butt whooped. Yeah, that's wild. Be real. So uh, so this is how you know uh, who Israelites are. You know them by according to wickedness. You know, like the brother was pointing out, you, you you know our people because we're the most wicked people on the face of the earth. <laughs> Again. I know this might come as a shock because you want to say you're children of the Most High and you're a child of the Most High because of your you excel in wickedness, mm. not because you excel in righteousness. No, I mean, you a child of the Most High, make you a child of Satan. That makes you a child. <laughs> well, that makes you a child of Satan. Of course, it makes you a child of Satan. But this is how we know that you are the Israelites. Right, yeah, yeah. Let, me put, let, me put, <laughs> let me put it that way. Yeah, yeah, there we go, God. Man. Forgive me. We know that you're an Israelite. God because of the wickedness you do, but you become a child of the Most High when you turn uh, from the wicked things that you've done. Huh. Yep. Um, so uh, real Israelites, they shut up the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> That's what Israelites do. You know, people that, that say they are children of the Most High God, they like to shut up the kingdom of heaven. They don't want anybody else to get in. This is a members only thing. They want them and the guys in their camp to get in, you know? Matter of fact, I might as well grab a precept. Why do I say this? Why do I say that children of, why do I say that Israelites shut up the kingdom of heaven? This is Matthew 20. Uh, oh, I got it. I read it. This is Matthew 23 and 13. It says, uh, I'll start at verse. 11 but he that is greatest among you shall be your servant and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted but woe unto you scribes and pharisees 
for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Uh, uh. You know what this made me think of? You go to uh, Sirach 34 and 21 up. Sirach 34 and 21 up. Rock 34 21. It says, The bread of the needy is their life. He that defrauded him thereof is a man of blood. And, and this is the daily bread that Yahweh was telling us to pray about for in uh, Matthew the sixth chapter. Right? You know what I'm saying? This is the bread that uh, the needy need. You know? He that taketh away his neighbor's living slayeth him. And he that defrauded the labor of his hire is a bloodshed. Yeah, you know how, how, how we can prove that uh, the living and the bread is synonymous? It's because uh, Yahweh Shah said, the words that I speak to you, they are light. They are spirit and they are life. You know? I have the door. All right. So he said, the words that I speak to you, they, they, they are spirit and they are life. You know? So that's, that's his living. So it's his bread. You know? Uh, Sirach 34 21 The bread of the needy is their life He that defrauded him thereof Is a man of blood Alright so that's, that's the same thing as setting up the kingdom of heaven Against men You know what I'm saying Defraud, Defrauding the needy of their bread Which is basically defrauding them of the spirit of our Lord Yahweh Defrauding them of the fruits of the spirit You know You're, That makes you a blood shitter You know And that's the spirit of the scribes and Pharisees They're blood shitters they, they, they want to they want to see their they want to see their brothers hurt rather than see them their brothers uh prosperous he that taketh away his neighbor's living <clears throat> slave him yeah he that taketh away his neighbor's living slave him which uh we live by the mercy of the most high i was thinking about it oh okay, lamentations 3 and 22 mm -hmm. tell you that only by his tender's mercies uh that we're that we even live not yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying so the mercy of the Heavenly Father is what keeps us alive. So what, what was the last part you said? He that taketh away his neighbor's living, slayeth him. Right, yeah, so you're slaying them. If, you, if you're being unmerciful uh, towards them, you're slaying them. Because mercy rejoices against judgment. You know what I'm saying? So you're slaying them. You're slaying them by not being merciful and, and truthful and compassionate and long-suffering towards them. You know, that's that's shutting up the kingdom against man. That's defrauding them of bread. That's, that's, that's uh, defrauding them of their living. He that taketh away his neighbor's living slayeth him, and he that defrauded the labor of his hire is a bloodshedder. Yeah, and what's the hire? Yahweh yeah, yeah, I got uh, higher uh, laborers in the vineyard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if you're defrauding uh, men from uh, laboring and endeavoring and, and occupying until our Lord comes, you're a bloodshedder and a murderer. You're also setting up the kingdom of heaven against me. So that's that's what that scripture made me think about. About how um uh, about setting up the kingdom of heaven against men. You know, and this is all uh, like the brother said, this is like a, a key thing that Israelites who who proclaim to be Israelites and, and serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai do. You know, they defraud, they, they defraud the needy of their bread, man. They defraud, they defraud uh, a man of his living and his hire, you know. And that's, and that's a murderer, that's a bloodshedder, that's a, someone who's setting up the kingdom of heaven. Right. Against men, you know. And this is a key identification of Israelites. They do, uh, look at all these camps, they do it, I. Heck yeah, they do it, I. They, they judge according to outer appearance. And then they, that person can very well be an Israelite. And then you're, you're leading him to uh you're, you're leading him astray you know you're making him think that this isn't for him when in actuality it is that's shutting up the kingdom yep. you know yep. we read this matthew 23 and 13 time, 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 time. matthew 23 and 13 but woe unto you scribes and pharisees hypocrites for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men for you neither go in yourselves neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in and this is this is crazy I, i'm about to make this point huh. so israelites they shut up the kingdom of heaven which is to say they don't want their brother to make it in and they judge according to outer appearance uh, whereas christians they they uh they have visions of mo of a multi-ethnic kingdom and peace and inclusion the true children of the most high they don't 
they uh they don't they rather not uh they rather treat you with hate and ill will at the expense of their own souls and them not entering in themselves you know and, what i mean and I, so like it's just to add one quick point um it's a brother out there well it's, it's two brothers that i know that literally said this they said if i'm a two-thirds just let the lord kill me I, I know two brothers who literally said that. I. That's wild. That's wild. I. <laughs> Just let the Lord destroy me if I'm a two third. Right, right. You you don't care that much for your people. Like, oh, I don't want to be like them so much. Just kill me. My yeah, I'll, I'll just, yeah, just fuck. If, if I got to be like that or anything associated with that, I'll die. Or if I even got to care about them, I'll die. Yeah. Before, I'll die before that. But that's not even scriptural. I said the beautiful scripture about, about that. I, nah. where it talks about um, uh, you're, supposed to, you're, you're supposed to have compassion. Oh yeah, Leviticus 19 and 14. Yeah, con. So that's not the right spirit to have. Leviticus 19 and 14, it tells you. This is the Leviticus 19 and 14. It says, Thou shalt not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind, but shalt fear thy power. I am the Lord. So it's the law. Yeah. <laughs> con, this is going back to the law. Because brothers like to tout the law so much. And stand behind the law and say, hey, you know, this is what we're supposed to be doing. So it says in the law that you're not supposed to curse the deaf. And we know that uh, Lord Yahweh Shai said, blessed are your ears for they hear. And a lot of people, other people are deaf. So that means that you're not supposed to have that type of hate and ill will towards your neighbor. Exactly. And when you go into that word curse, it actually goes into lightly esteeming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can't, you, you don't even supposed to despise or lightly esteem your neighbor or your brother. You're not supposed to look at them as insignificant because everybody has a position that they're playing in the will of God, man. That's right. You know? That's right, huh? And then the deaf is also spiritual and vulnerable, huh? Uh -huh. So there, there, there's people who's deaf, like you just said, bless their your ears for they can hear. Those are obviously talking about spiritual ears. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So you have people that are, that can be spiritually deaf. Yep. Not not only literally deaf. Yeah. And it says the blind too, huh? It says, it says it's putting it's putting the stumbling block for the blind. You know, you could put a stumbling block. That's an offense. That's a, yeah, hell yeah, it's offensive. And you could put a stumbling block before the blind by uh, telling them that they are heathen. You know, that they're a heathen. Or who, who does your father go back to? And they say, well, he's a Caucasoid. Or he's a he's a, he's a so-called uh, white man. Mm -hmm. And then you immediately say, well, you're- Get ready you're, for slavery. Get ready for uh, slavery. Grab me Obadiah. And then you start breaking down. You start breaking yeah. down over die. No, no, matter of fact, matter of fact, go ahead and get on your knees and kiss my boots. Kiss my boots. <laughs> right. Now I got to spit sign your boots because I look like a heathen. <laughs> Shit ain't it. Nah. And you, you better hope it's not an Israelite, too. Uh, imagine. <laughs> imagine if it's an Israelite who just kissed your fucking boots, man. Yeah. Now you have to see myself to smoke your boots. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to smoke your boots. Yeah. Whoa, one to you. God. Goofy. Oh, because you want to get your boots lit, man. Yeah. That, that's your consolation now. Right, right. It'd be vainglory. You know what I'm saying? It's vainglory, and then you you judging according to outer, outer appearance. You shutting up the damn kingdom of heaven, oh, man. Oh, yeah, Kyle. You know? Kyle. Let me read this point one more time. Right? Got got so the real Israelites, they shut up the kingdom of heaven, which is to say they don't want their brother to make it into heaven. And on the contrary, in the Christian church, and I speak this to y'all shame, man. Because in the Christian church, they have visions of a multi-ethnic kingdom. They literally be like, we're going to all sing together. And we speak that to y'all shame. Because they say, oh, you know how they talk about in the book of Revelation, they say, and I've seen people out of all kindreds. Mm -hmm. You know, because our people, are good. they look like everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, but whereas uh, Christians, people in the Christian church, they speak of a multi-ethnic uh, kingdom and peace and inclusion. And our people, man, they stay hate so much. That they don't want to, if our people look like somebody else, they like, nah, y'all not going to make it in. You know, or if people do look like them, they like, nah, y'all not going to make it. Or or if they're uh, acting a certain way, they be like, nah, you ain't going to make it. <laughs> or if they perceive something about you that's the, that doesn't line up with what they think, you how about Shema Shah stands for, they, they, they say you can't you're make, not gonna it. make it. Yeah, yeah. So, um, we know that the children, of, the, that uh, the Israelites, they rather treat you with hate and ill will at the expense of themselves not entering into the kingdom of heaven. Crab in a bucket spirit. Yep. Yep. Come on, nah. They, always, they say that in the world, nigga don't want to see another nigga make it. Mm -hmm. like, no, nah, you good. So this is another point to, uh, to how we know who the real uh, Israelites are. You know, Israelites, people that proclaim to be Israelites, you ought to be a child of the most high God and stop judging according to outer appearance. 
right, you need all to right, be a chef. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Um, our, our people can be downtrodden. They can be. people can be some of the most downtrodden people in the world poor as heck but they got the most to say is when it comes to negativity mm -hmm. it's speaking down on somebody yep. that's how we know who, who, the, who, uh, who the children of uh, who the Israelites are mm -hmm. you know because they are some of the they're, they're in the, some of the most uh, terrible circumstances we got the most to say we got the most to say yep. point uh, one of the one of the case in points is children uh, the Israelites were in the uh, in the wilderness they were in the lowest state they could boss possibly be in. Lowest and state. And they then could... they tried to testify against your house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Lowest state you could possibly be in and want to testify against the Lord, want to buck up and say negative, negative things about the most high. Or about their neighbor. And, and you can't tell me this not what uh uh Israelites do, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're familiar with blacks. Latinos and Native mm -hmm. Indian culture, that's, that's, that's all they do. That's all they do. Huh? All they do is, is, uh, is talk about other men's lives. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Talk about other women's lives. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But can't talk about nothing about their life, though. Yep. I want to grab this, this uh, scripture out where it talks about... Uh... Oh, um, uh, <laughs> 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 wait, the way you put me on the wild yeah. was, was it Exodus on? Dang, I got a, what was the keywords? Uh, try, try, uh, keyword. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, numbers. Numbers 11. Oh, yeah, that's it, yo. I don't think that's the exact one, but I think it's uh, synonymous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Kyle, so here's a, here's a, 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 this is how we know that our people are some of them, you know, they can be in some of the worst situations, worst circumstances, the most downtrodden, and still got something to say. You know, still got something negative to say or dispute. This is Numbers 11. And this is after the children of Israel had came out of uh, uh, Egypt. There it goes. Okay, hard give, bondage. I'm, I'm going to give a modern day example. Okay, okay. <laughs> they came out of Egypt. Just came out of Egypt. Hardcore bondage. <laughs> Hundreds of years of bondage. The most lowest of low. 400, 400 plus years, huh? The lowest that you could get. They was doing the limbo. But they still <laughs> had something to say. <laughs> Still has something to say. It's Numbers 11. I start at the top and I jump. And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord. And the Lord heard it. I should probably jump back. It's Numbers 10. In verse. Uh, this is uh, Numbers 10 in verse. Start at verse 33. Numbers 10 and 33. Numbers 10 and 33. And they departed from the mount of the Lord three days' journey. And the ark of the covenant of the Lord went before them in the three days' journey to search out resting places for them. But they were looking for a resting place. They didn't even have a place to sleep. <laughs> they didn't even have a place to sleep. They didn't even have a home. They were looking for a resting place. Oh Jake God. ain't got nothing. They be in the in the inner cities yep. and then ain't got nothing. nothing. But then they talk about your kinks. Yep. And they talk about your fit. Yep. And then they living on section eight. Yep. Yep. Let's see it up. And then at verse 34, so they were looking for a resting place. Verse 34. And the cloud of the Lord was upon them by day when they went out of the camp. And it came to pass when the ark set forward that Moses said, Rise up, Lord, and let thine enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee before thee. And when it rested, he said, Return, O Lord, unto many uh, unto the many thousands of Israel. Verse uh, Numbers 11 and 1 from the top. And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord. They're complaining already. And the Lord heard it, and the anger was kindled, and the fire of the Lord burnt among them and consumed them that their were in the uttermost parts of the camp. 
<laughs> then, you know, uh, we know that uh, Moses, he intervened for him. And he, you know, he basically inter intervened for his people. Verse four, and the mixed uh, multitude that was among them fell a lusting and the children of Israel also wept again and said, we shall give, who shall give us flesh to eat? We remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt freely, the cucumbers and the melons and the leeks and the onions and the garlic. But now our soul is dried up and there is nothing at all beside this manna before our eyes complaining. You know, so the point here is that our people, you know, the reason we know who our people are is because we've studied the scripts and we know that our people can be in the most messed up situations, but will still find a way to complain and to speak down on their on their brother. Yep. It's, it's literally, bro, it's literally like, like go, go, I was telling this brother growing up, I went to Miller Grove Middle School here in Atlanta. Growing up in that school was horrible, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Going to that school was hell, man. If you go in there with <laughs> fight, literally fight fists, you go in there with the wrong outfit on, that might be the end of your whole school year, huh? <laughs> One day, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just how treacherous our people is. But mind you, we all stay in the same neighborhoods. We're all in the same positions. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, but. Uh, Jake, uh, Jake will attack you like he's not in the same position as you, or right. even worse. Right, right. That's because, that's because of, you know, they they, they don't realize that uh that, that that they're all in that same predicament. You know, they think that you know they try to elevate themselves, but meanwhile they're still in that same low level as you. God, I, you know. Yep. Maybe God. And then another point I was thinking about too, with R. Kelly. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like R. Kelly. Oh, uh, he just started doing the stuff he was doing, man. You take Spindle, R. Kelly was doing that, man. You know what I'm saying? And y'all was supporting it, too. Yeah. Don't even try to act like you want to support it. Now, now when R. Kelly and Jeff, oh, man, he's a pedophile. Or he's a dog-ass dude. Or he should have been locked up, yeah. man. Yeah. Man, y'all freak-ass be doing pedophilic shit still. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And even if you're not sleeping with children, you're still doing something just as perverse. Yeah, yeah right, exactly, y'all. Exactly. And that's what our people do. You know, they, that's that's the point right like here. You, you ain't got no room to speak, uh, speak about R. Kelly when all you uh, Israelites are nothing but a, a, a big ass nation of bumping grinders. Yeah, that's yeah. all y'all do is bumping grind. Yep, yep. <laughs> right. What you talking about R. Kelly for, man? Yeah. You're the poor. You're you're poor as hell and have the most to say. And we and when you we speak about being poor, we're talking about poor morally. Con. You know, you're you're you're, you're completely poor morally. Piss poor morally. Yeah. Yep. You're you're completely piss poor morally. Yep. But got the most to say, uh -huh. you know, you know. But but a poor in another in the other sense as well. But but you know, you're poor morally and have the most to say. Like the brother was saying, you're talking, you're speaking down on R. Kelly. But meanwhile, you got all these skeletons in your closet yeah. and things that you've done. Right, God, huh? misadventures. <laughs> <laughs> King of misadventures. You know what I'm saying? God, huh? We got all of this stuff. You know, you you got all kinds of uh, skeletons in your closet. It's sick, huh? because. Uh, I was looking at that uh, the baby and uh, Dana Lee, uh -huh. his baby mom, when they was getting into it on camera. Right, right. And I was thinking about it. Shit, I literally be going through shit like this. <laughs> How the hell I can say anything about this? Right, right. You know, we can't. We can't. <laughs> when you, when the Israelites to see it, they should identify with it and relate and feel compassionate. That's but this how sick do. our people are, though. Yeah. I, this how sick our people is. Instead of relating with it and and, and trying to uh. Uh, be compassionate towards the situation, they'll act like they ain't even dealing with the situation and just talking and calling it out. <laughs> that's how right. sick they are, man. Right. Right. That's the shit. That's that beam in that moat. Yeah, God, huh? You know what I mean? Yep. You know? That's what that's our people. Yep. Got a beam in their eyes, but want to talk about somebody else. Yep. And that's really who y'all was, was talking to in Matthew 7. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Talking to you wicked ass Israelites, man. That's right. Get your mind right. That's why I tell you in 2 Ezra 14, if you should subdue your own understanding and reform your heart. Yeah, yeah. This is another point to our people. Our people can see and discern. They can discern a situation or a matter, right? They can discern, like for instance, they can discern a mood. They can discern a mood that you're in, but can't discern their own evil. <laughs> or the evil that they're doing to you. Yeah. They, 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 look, they, <laughs> look, they could be the reason you're in the mood. Yeah, yeah. And then they could be like, oh, so I peep that he's in this mood, but they can't peep that they're doing it. They can't peep that they're doing it. Right, right. 
<laughs> That's sick as hell, man. Right. But I'm not doing nothing wrong. Right. <laughs> what, what, what's wrong with you? That's no that. asshole. Exactly. <laughs> that meant that they can perceive that, but can't discern their own wickedness. Yeah. That's what it is. It's like they can't discern what, how they're producing it, or they can't they can't turn their eyes inward <laughs> to see their own self. That's an Israelite. But but God, exactly, it's like because you're you're supposed because the Most High look up after the inward man. Yeah. We're supposed to delight. After the inward man, like uh, Apostle Paul said, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So we got to start to be able to look within to be able to tap in with Yahweh by Sima That's why our people are so separated from Yahweh by Sima because they can't look with, from within. That's right. That's right. I got that, a piece of that. Yeah, that's no, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, but that, uh, that introspection is major. Introspection is major. Since Jake got their eyes all in the world, the scripture talks about that. They oh, yeah. Wise man's head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wise, yeah, wise man's head is in his head. God. Is in his head, uh -huh. which is, means that you're introspective, right. you're looking within instead of eyes all in the world. Yep. You know, you're able to discern the face of the sky, but can't discern the signs of the right. times. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Which but that goes a lot into discerning what's going on within you, within the body. Yep. You know what I mean? Ain't talking about no weather. Because <laughs> <laughs> the weather, the weather phenomena are happening uh, within you. Little do you know? Yep. Satan might come through and cause an earthquake in your life, man. Yeah. Might send a wind gust at you. Oh yeah, yeah. Jose, I'm out of here. It's all good. You say, Jose? Yeah, I'm out of here. Hosea 6 and 15, no 5 and 15. <laughs> Hosea 5 and 15, I will go and return to my place uh -huh. till they acknowledge uh -huh. <laughs> their offense. Yeah, right, so yeah, how about some outside? He's not taking the like, I want to get out of here. Your ass not get out of here until you acknowledge your offense, man. You know what I'm saying? You're not going nowhere until you learn how to acknowledge your offense, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. you're gonna recognize the evil that's within you and you're gonna defeat it or, and your ass gonna rot there. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't give a fuck if you wanna go. You're not going nowhere until you acknowledge your offense. That's right, that's right. And that's I what do. Jake don't wanna do. Yeah. Until you turn your damn eyeballs around and look in your own self. Time. How am I being a troubling person to this situation? Right. How can I better correct myself mm -hmm. Or how can I become a uh, sigh and cry uh, in my manner of life that can cause me to leave here? That's what you gotta do. You know? Con, so we have to acknowledge, we have to, uh, we have to acknowledge our offense. We have to acknowledge our own selves. So we can't, we can't, we have to be able to discern uh, our own, uh, our, our own uh, wickedness. Our own error. Yeah, discern your error, the error in your ways. Mm -hmm. Acknowledge the error in your ways. You got fault in you. What is the fault in you? Because y'all about to say, I said he's found fault in us as a people. Yeah. What's the fault in us, yeah. I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We need to find what the fault is in us, identify it, and destroy it. Yeah, yeah. Since you want to see something, seek me, seek me out of the... <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I was saying I'll go to I'll go and return to my place until you assholes acknowledge your fist. Cause you know you're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. No. 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 That's why Yahweh would miss it. Take me like that. Has Yahweh forsaken us? Yeah, he has. Your ass ain't acknowledged your offense. Right. And you, you haven't acknowledged your offense if you're saying, look at all this stuff that happened to us. Look at all these curses that befell us. Yeah. That's look not at all this stuff these people are doing to us. Yeah. You, yeah. You're doing it to yourself, man. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> acknowledge your offense, man. Right. You know, Cheddar Bob just so. And then you want to talk about, look what they did to me. <laughs> Bleeding out because he owns stuff. God, huh? Oh, um, God. Oh, yeah, kind of. Uh, we are uh, going to go to the house. Got a crucial. Okay, go to, uh, go to uh, uh, the heritage. Heritage is what our heritage is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Outside. Yeah. Go back there. Uh, Romans 8. Uh, Romans 8. Uh, Romans 8. Uh, Romans 
So, uh, so we want to we want to talk about how we're children of the Most High God. We want to talk about how we're heirs to the promises, and how you know we uh, we go on rough ways, and now it's time to get some rec some payback, some recompense, and now it's time to live uh, and get the fatness. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're, you're not getting any fat. <laughs> Might get a fat lip. <laughs> Most I hit you with that right hook. <laughs> His arms is not short that they can't save or box. <laughs> His arms can save, they're not short where they can save, and box. He's a tooth chipper. Quit playing with him. This is Romans 8 and 17. And if children, Romans 8 and 16, the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high God. How you doing, brother? You know, so the spirit bears witness that we are the children of the most high God because we're walking in the spirit of Lord Yahweh Shah. Yeah. We identify with the spirit of Lord Yahweh Shah. Say about that first John Thursday. And if you do that, then you're an heir. That's what makes you an heir, by the way. Romans 8 and 17. Romans 8 and 17. It says, and if children, it says, and if children, why it say that after say, after it said, we bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high God. Because the spirit, being in the right spirit, means that you become an heir. Why would it say that right after that? Bro, in that precept in Romans 8 and 16, this, uh, the spirit uh, bear witness that we're the children of the Most High, that don't mean because you can do a between the legs 360 dunk, God. <laughs> or, you, or you can sing right. like Jeannie Aiko exactly. or make a beat. That's not what that means, man. How y'all doing? Good. Yeah, kind of. Or because you, you can drop 81 <laughs> in a game. Yeah. Or you can, you can do a back foot. Right. Yeah. Nobody cares about your physical abilities. Nah. You know? Stop trying to identify on carnality that's uh uh and, and make make that a parallel with your how about Simon Sa. Nah, There's nah. no parallels with carnality in your how about Simon Yeah, nah, nah. It wasn't it was the reason that David was able to clear a fence and bend the bow of steel wasn't because he was a, a, a son of Abraham. The reason he was able to do it is because he had the spirit of the Lord. Well, I tell you about that in Psalms 144 and 1. The Lord teaches my hands to fight, man. <laughs> you, the Lord's spirit teaches you how to fight. And it's not talking about physical fighting either. Right. If if the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Right. Do these guys read the scriptures? Of course not. <laughs> well, they just make up stuff in their mind. Like Jay said, they skim through it. <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do, you <laughs> do you listen to music or do you just skim through it? Good. I'm influenced by the people you hate. <laughs> Romans 8 and 17. <laughs> Just throw it in. Romans 8 and 17. <clears throat> and if children, then heirs. Heirs of the Most High and joint heirs with the Messiah. If so, be that we suffer with him and we went into the sufferings. You can't, you can't, you're not suffering if you get slapped in the mouth up here. That's not it. You, you get, you're suffering if you get slapped in the mouth up here and you don't return injury or agitation. You be like, thank you for not punching me. There you go. Thanks for not hitting me with a combo. If he punch you in your mouth, and then you be like, ah, thanks for not hitting me with a combo. Now you're suffering for your house shot. Good, huh? Now we're talking. Good, huh? As soon as you go and you square up and try to get your link back, you're not suffering. You ain't suffering. Uh -huh. Or as soon as you go home and pray to your how about see my side, thank you. You're not suffering. You're not suffering. You're supposed to go home and pray, thank you, you how about see my side for sending that guy to slap me in my face. <laughs> Thanks for not giving me with the combo with it. He only caught me with the one piece. <laughs> he bruised my cheek, not my ego. <laughs> <laughs> if so be that we suffer with him that we may be also glorified together so just to recap uh -huh. 
you are, does our spirit bear witness that we are the sons of the most high, not because of slavery. Or not because you could do it. Not because you could go through the, through the legs and hit somebody with the jelly. <laughs> not because you could go under the defenders and then do the 360. You know what I'm saying? Not because you could sit, hold a high note for 17 seconds. Huh. None of that. So the, our spirit bear witness that we are the children of the most high because we are in the spirit of our Lord. We don't return injury. We show love to our people. We don't want to return injury. You know, that's that's how you know you're a child of the most high. And then that's the prerequisite to becoming an heir. Right. That's going to heir. Because uh -huh. it's about that in 1 Timothy, the second chapter, if we suffer with him, we shall reign with him. We shall also reign with him. So the only thing that makes you a joint heir is the sufferings of our Lord, Yahweh Shah, my shot. First Peter 4 and 1. For, for as much as a must can suffer for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. For he that is suffering in the flesh has ceased from sin. That's right. Yeah, suffering, suffering with him and being in that same spirit. Time. You know, being in that in a particular spirit. Uh -huh. That's that's what killed. That's what destroys sin. For fervent charity shall cover a multitude of sins. Come, come. And we're not saying that you don't have to be of a particular bloodline. Nobody's saying that. Yeah, come. You know, we're but, just saying that you have to be in a particular spirit right. along with that. Yeah, the bloodline doesn't matter if you ain't in the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell the bloodline matter for? You? The bloodline, the spirit shall override the bloodline because the spirit is what matters. The bloodline doesn't. Right. Exactly. Because if, right. if, if, if it was all about the bloodline, how about see myself would deliver our whole nation? That's right. You know? Right. He'd be suffering with us as a whole nation, huh? Right. Why, why, why we ain't got all Jakes trying to sow in the righteousness, man? You know? They say, oh, you guys are you guys are out there trying to promote, uh, you know, uh, replacement theology. You know, you're out here trying to pro promote replacement theology. Nobody's promoting replacement theology. You need to understand that there's a, 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 a bloodline of Israelites. We're not, you know, but like the brother just beautifully said, I don't want to... You know, take the thunder. Uh -huh. You know, the brother just beautifully said it. You know, if you're of the bloodline, it's going to be of no avail for you. If you're not of the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> so what does that even matter for? Did it tell you in Psalm 75 and 6, uh, for promotion coming not from the east, the west, the north, or the south, but from the Lord. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the most high set us up judges, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So promotion doesn't even, we can't promote nothing. Yeah, how about Shemel Sai's doing all the promoting out here? Proverbs 16 and 1, the preparations of the time come from the most high. That's right. How, how are we promoting anything? <laughs> um, so we wanted to go into air Promotion Pro 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 can't come from me <laughs> Scripture tell me Because right. they try to make themselves be an heir And say well, who's your father Well you know y'all suffered these, these curses That made you an heir uh -huh. That doesn't make you an heir though right. on, uh -huh. So an heir goes into One who inherits As right of inheritance in the property of another in the uh, property of another. Yeah. So, and this is another point too, I saw, uh -huh. <laughs> This, yeah, this is Yahweh Shah's kingdom. This, nothing in, in, in Yahweh Shah's kingdom is yours. Right. So, whatever Yahweh Shah gives us, that's what we gotta take. You can't go in Yahweh Shah's kingdom expecting to get something. Right. You know, don't, don't, no go. Well, first of all, if you're if you're really a joint heir with Yahweh Shah, my son, you're not gonna be expecting nothing. That's right. Right. And it's and, and this just to, just to bring it back to slavery. Jake try to say, oh, we get 40 acres and a mule, we get reparations because we are heirs to the people that went through the sufferings. That's not, that, you're not, that's not, that's not that. You don't want to be that type of heir anyway. Right. <laughs> you don't want to be that heir. Yeah, what the hell? Because that's not even, that, they don't even, that, that's not even going to be enough to repay. Yeah, God. Anyway, I, yeah. you know, you want the most high to be your, uh, to be your, your, your exceeding great reward. Yeah, God, I. That's just another point. Oh, yeah, I tell you about there, Jeremiah 9 and 23. If anybody take glory, let him glory that he know of me. Yeah. You don't supposed to glory in nothing else, man. Uh. That's the only thing you supposed to glory in is the fact that you know you how about Shem Yahweh That's right. Uh, so back in heritage, it says, heir a successor. You're not even a successor if you're not walking in uh in righteousness. You know, you're not a successor, because the scriptures tells us. I made this point last camp. You have to leave one less liking unto yourself. You know, we become successors of Yahweh Shai. You know, you become a, ses a successor of him. If you're not doing the things that he told you to do, you're not a successor. No air there. But see, that's that, that's Jake Daqua, supersede, because the planet goes in synonymous, synonymous with supersede. So this is what Jake want to do. He 
want he wants to uh he wants to succeed you, but he wants to do it in his own way though. You know what I'm saying? He wants to supersede you, but he don't want to do it according to the set standards that's already set up. That's right. He want to do it according to his standards. That's right. And that's why you can't. That's that's the whole. That's the uh, what makes you a joint there with your size either uh, being able to step his standards and his rules and abide by them, or trying to incorporate your own stuff into it. You know what I'm saying? That's what. Uh, that's the difference between a joint heir and someone who's not. Right. You're not an heir. Because because you're, you're able to keep the laws too, that doesn't make you a damn heir, man. I don't care how much of the laws you keep, the 613 law, statutes, commandments, shit don't make you an heir. What what what, what, uh, what Apostle Paul said in Philippians the third chapter? He said I he said I count all things but done for the excellency of the knowledge of myself, including the righteousness that's within the law. He said that. Mm -hmm. He said according to the righteousness in the law, I'm blameless. But I count all that is done. Shit, what you just said for the knowledge of the excellency of your house my That's right. That's right. <laughs> Shit, don't make you an heir. Duh. Uh, though it was not originally so written in English, it is the heir of one still alive whose right is clear. After death, the heir apparent becomes the heir at law. After death. <laughs> oh, 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 after uh, uh, Second Ezra 14 and 35. After death, so uh, you live again? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Con, that, that too. Huh? Con. And then after death, you have to kill an old man. You know, you have to kill yeah, an old man. A lot of people still have the old man, so yep. you can't be an heir. Yeah. You got to walk in newness of life. Right. Right. Con, like we were huh? saying at camp last week, the two different types of Israelites, bro. The ancient wick wicked Israelites who tries to live according to most Mosaic law and has folded them. Or the new reformed Israelite who has the spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach who walks in newness of life. Uh -huh. That's the joint, that's the that's the joint there. What's hard to understand about that? <laughs> I, I don't get it. Right, God, huh? So joint heir goes into inheritance, which goes into heritage. We went into last camp, we spoke about the heritage. What is, what is the heritage? Let's go back to that. Jake thinks his heritage is. He thinks his heritage is uh, 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 the uh, keeping the customs, the customs, my 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 uh, my garments, my my rituals, yeah, rituals, the uh, the holy convocations, all of these things. He thinks is his heritage. Dietary law. Dietary law. You know what I'm saying? He thinks that all of these things is his heritage. They ain't your dang on heritage. Being a Nazarite, growing your hair out. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I was saying, because Cam Newton, he was talking about it too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he was doing a little podcast talking about Nazarites. And I was like, that's Jake for you, man. They want to worry about everything else except for laboring in the spirit of your house shot, man. You that's know right. what I'm saying? That's right. Like, talk about that, bro. Talk about no Nazarites, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like me steaming the rock of salvation. Oh, but we're sitting at Romans 8 and 17. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, let me go. Oh, okay, come on. Let me go back. Talking about the beard. Okay, I go back. Okay. Go back in Romans eight and seventeen. It reads, "And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. If so be that we suffer with Him." that we may also be glorified together. Okay, so you have to, there's, this is two parts to it, man. You gotta suffer with Yahweh Shai, and you have to be in the spirit of, uh, of of charity. You have to be in the spirit of mercy, be in the spirit that the Lord, or the example that our Lord has laid out. So as long as you're in that a particular spirit and you are, in, are suffering and the, uh, uh, according to the, as the scripture has said, you ought to suffer. You know, not suffering according to your mind, uh -huh. but suffering ought to be. And according to the captain of our sufferings, how was I? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Which is, you know, and I did a beautiful lesson through the Spirit, Lord willing, on what are the sufferings, you know, um, and I encourage people to watch it, you know, because it said, it points out in great detail, the brother helped me, brothers have helped me come up with it, and, and uh, through the Spirit of the Lord, and, the, and uh, the sufferings are important. You know, that makes you an heir as well. You know, sufferings and being in a particular spirit. This is twofold. Um, I'll, I'll finish that. Right? Okay. 
Uh, so, uh, so joint heirs goes into heritage, and inherit and inheritance goes into the blessings of Abraham, and that only comes with righteousness. Um, and if you're wicked, that comes with separation from com from the commonwealth of of Israel. So, when you try to describe who you are through slavery and through curses. It's, you're cutting yourself off from the heritage of the Israelite, of being a, a true child of God. You know, that's what you're really doing. You know, so you don't even want to describe yourself and be a, uh, uh, associated with that nonsense because all that this, all that shows and proves is that you were separated from the Most High. When you were going through those things, that was that was your dark age. That was when you were separated from the Lord. You know? That's not nothing you want to brag on. It's just like... A lot of people, they, they don't want to tell you they've been to jail, man. They don't right. want to tell you they've been to prison. They don't want to tell you about the harsh things they've been through in their life, bro. Yeah. That's not something people celebrate, bro. But but Israelites do. <laughs> Israelite, that's how you know who Israelites is. That's why you want yeah. to talk about dang old slavery so much. You want to talk about it so much because it's a it's a badge of honor. It's a badge of honor. Much like uh, you get banged up do, uh, selling drugs, go to prison and do a six, seven year stint. They come home. And then, and then everybody's everybody's uh, celebrating and singing your praises because uh -huh. they say he's he liked that. Yeah, Bobby Smurda. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. That's an Israelite. Yep. You want to talk about that because it's a badge of honor. Uh -huh. You know, and that's how we know you're 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 Israelite. Yep. Um, heritage. Uh -huh. Let me go into heritage real quick. Yeah, Ephesians. Ephesians two. Yeah, I was gonna grab. Oh, okay. you got Surat 17 and 11 since we talked about heritage because our people love to talk about their heritage and how someone took their heritage and you know who won the Nobel Prize and who invented peanut butter and, and slavery and all of this nonsense but that's not really your heritage holy convocations isn't your heritage none of that stuff is really your heritage your heritage is moral uprightness your heritage is righteousness. Your heritage is walking in the spirit that the Most High gave to Yahweh Shah. That's your heritage. Right. Ephesians 17 and 11. Beside this, he gave them knowledge of the law of life for a heritage. So knowledge of the law of life is your heritage. You know, so none of that, you don't talk bloodline and all of that. That's not your heritage. Because you could be a child of the devil. And be from the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Um, this, uh, so I said the blessings of. So let me just make this point again, and I'm gonna go to Ephesians. So if your joint heirs, joint heirs goes into her inheritance, which goes into heritage, then the blessings of Abraham only come with righteousness. Hence, uh, the Most High called uh, he, he accounted things to, to Abraham as righteousness certain things he did he was a righteous man before the heavenly father so you have to be a child of abraham and uh wickedness is along with wickedness comes separation from the commonwealth of israel which means that you aren't part of the heritage if you're operating in wickedness yep. ephesians 2 and 12 uh-huh that was gonna go random because <laughs> i got another point this is ephesians 2 and verse 12 it reads that at that time ye were without Hamashiach being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise having no hope without the most high in the world. Verse, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's when your ass was in slavery. <laughs> <laughs> no hope. You, it was so bad. It was a Jake that shipped himself in the mail uh -huh. and he shipped himself in the mail to freedom. Why? <laughs> What is that to brag about? Yeah, that's crazy, y'all. You you shipped your like you, you want to talk about slavery so much, you shipped yourself in the mail to get free. That's it crazy. was that bad for yeah, you. Yeah, that's crazy. You don't want to associate yourself with slavery, yeah, man. No, I'm an Israelite because of slavery. Yeah, no, no, no. You don't even talk about that. Yeah. That was his separation. Yeah. So uh Ephesians 2 and 12, that at the time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without the most high in the world. 
But now, in the Masiach, Yahweh Shai, ye who sometimes were far off, are made nigh by the blood of a Masiach. Yeah, by the blood of a Masiach, <laughs> you brought you brought nigh. So Yahweh Shai is the uh, the factor that uh, is the is, is the is the part of the, the mediator or the go between that brings us back to the Most High. The the the, the, the is the missing piece in our heritage, huh? You know what I'm saying? The Hawasai is everything, bro. Yeah. The rock of our salvation, man. You That's know? Right. So, your Hawasai determines if your ass is a, 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 of the heritage of your Hawasai or not. Child of God. Yeah, come. <laughs> he dictates it. Yeah. You, you, you got to be walking in the spirit of your Hawasai to be a child of God, to be to, to be an Israelite, uh, nah. you know? This was a point, too, I, I wanted to bring out. Nah. You know how they talk about, oh, they, the, the, the heathen are counted as a, a drop in a bucket. You know, and in, in the scripture, <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's just ad. When you keep reading down on there, it says all nations before him are counted as nothing. Oh, that just too. Yep, right. that too. And it says, uh, it says many of them that uh, more shall be saved. I mean, many shall perish than shall be saved. Saved, such as a wave is to a drop. So you can end up being part of the wave. Oh, wow. And not be part of that drop. Yeah, that's it. So the drop ain't, ain't so cool, but then it could become a cool thing. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Woo! That's heavy, huh? <laughs> you know? So, the, but the most high, he determines who's the drop and who's the wave. Right. You know, vice versa. Con. Yeah, that's a heavy point, huh? Con. So you'll read that Ephesians 2 and 12 through uh, 14 just one more time for me, y'all? Con. Con. This is Ephesians 2 and verse 12. It reads that at that time ye were without a Mashiach being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Mm -hmm. Which with wickedness, through wickedness, <laughs> slavery, all uh, of that. Yep. And strangers from the covenants of the promise. Uh -huh. You were a stranger, you didn't weren't part of that. Right, uh -huh. What if this has to do with you? Right. Having no hope and without the most high in the world. Uh -huh. So while you're sitting on the avenue talking about this has nothing to do with you, uh -huh. this has nothing to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> you're wicked. This ain't got nothing to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, remember when I was bringing that script out to you a while back? We was at camp, mm -hmm. and Jake be like, uh, uh, the Lord hates you. The Lord hates you. Well, if you're doing the look things that the Lord hates, he ain't sure has to. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? God. You act like you disincluded. God, bro, the, when, it, when it says the Lord, in John 3, 16, when it says the most high so loved the world, most high so loved order. Oh, yeah, kind of. If you're operating, the most high loved order. Uh -huh, That's why he, me. yeah. <laughs> So if you're not operating in order, right. then he hates your ass. <laughs> you're God, not beloved. Yeah, God, huh? You know? God. He loves I, order. God, I, yeah. God, this is Ephesians 2 and 12. That at that time you were without Hamashiach, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenants, promise, having no hope and without the most high in the world. But now, in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of a Mashiach, for he is our peace who have made both one and have broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Uh -huh. And when you go, uh, it says having abolished in his flesh uh -huh. enmity. That's the that's the abolishment because you're looking for the abolishment of slavery. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the abolishment of the world because the most high has enmity with the world. Right, right, come, come. With the friendship of the world. Come, not. Nah. You know, I just want to emphasize abolish there because Jake was talking. Want to talk about slavery so much? Uh -huh. You know, the Most High abolished slavery. If you, if you if you if you if you really want to want to technically look at it, man. If you look at if you look within and operate in righteousness, you ain't got to worry about damn slavery. God, I, yeah, that's the whole point. That's the whole point. And then uh, you know, I said that Yahweh Shai broke down the middle wall of partitioning between us and uh, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father Yahweh. When you go into uh, air. When you go into air, one of the words uh, for it is partitioning. One of the words that's synonymous with it is partitioning. Mm -hmm. You know, so Yahweh Shai dividing us away from iniquity, like we went into this oh, lesson. Yeah. Yahweh Shai is the thief that hides in man, uh -huh. you know, which is the spirit, because we're coming right back to it. Uh -huh. and, and proving it right here. Yahweh Shai partitioning. Go, you go to Hebrews 4 and 12 real quick. Because this Yahweh Shai uh, breaks down that middle wall of partition, but which uh, represents. Uh, Flesh, iniquity, pride, sin, all the things that Jake want to represent and talk about. You know what I'm saying? Or all the things that, uh, 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 all the things that came forth from those things, all the consequences. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, this, this is all they want to talk about. This is the stuff that your house size partitioning away from us to bring us closer to the most high. Yeah, yeah, time. 
Jake never wants to get to the root of the matter. Come. The heart of the matter, which is righteousness. Right. Because no. <laughs> they want to still operate in wickedness. They don't they, they come to the light unless their deeds be approved. That's right. Hebrews 4, verse 12, for the most highs, for the word of the most high is quick and powerful. And it's not talking about the Bible, bro. It's not talking about just pulling the Bible out and then cutting the Edomite or cutting somebody that's adversarial to the words that's in it. It's not what it's talking about when they say the word of God. It's not talking about the spirit of our Lord, Yahweh Shah, because the word was made flesh. And he and just told you how he destroyed enmity in the flesh. Yep. It says, for the word of the most high is powerful and quick. And you know another uh, proof to that? St. John 6 and 63, it says the spirit that I speak, and I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life and they quicken you, which means to make you alive. You know, so Yahweh Shai is the word of God and he, he, he's quick and powerful, which means he can make you alive and he's powerful because he can separate your ass away from wickedness and iniquity. And that's hard to do it, Jake. You gotta be powerful to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that quick, that word quick goes into sudden. Oh yeah, woo! Yeah. Oh, they, they go back to that. Uh, my reward is with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> that element yeah. of surprise. So the reward is the heritage. Like yep. according to yep. the spirit of our Lord. Mm. And powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Yeah, because it says all iniquity is a double-edged sword. But this is sharper than any two-edged sword. Mm. The word of God. So it can separate you from iniquity. Uh. Or it, can, or it can expose your uh, uh, your iniquity and show that you're a son of perdition yep. and separate you from the commonwealth of Israel. Yeah, yeah, or separate you from per perpetuating righteousness. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, uh, it says, two as sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. See? Piercing even to the uh, dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Mm -hmm. So it's separating the things that's in your spirit and in your soul that are contrary to the most high. Yeah, God. <laughs> God, huh? In the joints and marrow. In the joints and marrow. And is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. You see? <laughs> you see? So it's a discerner of the uh the thoughts and the intentions of your heart. Mm -hmm. So your house side, just like the brother said, he comes, he his spirit is so strong that it either separates us from iniquity and sin or reveals the iniquity and sin in us and makes us the man of sin. You know? That's right. That's right. It would prove that your house side is our heritage because he's gonna identify. He's gonna set what you gonna you gonna operate in his spirit whether you like it or not. That yep. proves that he's the heritage. Because your house side, because your how is forcing us to uh, come to your side. <laughs> Regardless if we want to or not. <laughs> if, if, even if you don't want to, your house side will still come to you and expose your ass uh, as as the as the wicked man you are. Huh. Sirach 23 and 12. Huh. So we're talking about heritage. What is your heritage? Stop associating yourself with slavery. What is your true, what was your heritage? Was it wickedness? <laughs> now, now, now you have to understand that your heritage is really supposed to be at least righteousness. Right. You know, and anything that separates you from that, um, then, then you're, not, you're not walking in, in your heritage. You're right. separated from the commonwealth of Israel. So this is Sirach 23 and 12. Rock 23 and 12, there is a word that is clothed about with death. There, there is a word that is clothed about with death. You know, uh, I tell you about in Isaiah the 28th chapter with uh, death, they, they have made a covenant. And we just read in the feast of the second chapter how they were strangers from the covenants of the promise. Because they made a covenant with death. So there's a word that's clothed about with death. And that's the uh, that's the word that uh, Jake is at agreement with, which is pretty much sin and the yeah. There's a squint, a squint yeah. subtility. Yeah. There's a wisdom from beneath and above. That's right. It says there's a word that is clothed about with death. But there's also a word that's clothed about with life. The word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword and it's quick. That's your Howard Shai. Your Howard Shai was contrary to your Howard Shai, basically. Right. So there's the heritage, the wicked heritage. You know what I'm saying? That's that, clothed, that's, that's that word that's clothed about with death. Yeah. And, there, and there's a righteous heritage, which is that word that's clothed about with life, which is your Howard Shai. Mm. Just bring that point in there. That's right, right. Um, the most high, you want me to finish it off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The most high grant that it be not found in the heritage of Jacob. You see? <laughs> you see? So that's the heritage that Jacob chose, though. He, you get Isaiah uh, 2 15 real quick, up. Baba Kashuk. 
Uh, so this can be a heritage. This, this, <laughs> bro, we're not making this up, huh? Yeah, yeah. Just listen. Yeah, it could be your heritage. And we know that we already made the point that we understood our heritage, that it was we were shrouded in wickedness. You <laughs> and know it what just I mean? told you that it could be a heritage. Yeah. <laughs> no, we ain't fucking her type. <laughs> no, her type. I said, what up? Oh, uh, 2015. Isaiah 28 verse 15 Because ye have said We have made a covenant with death uh -huh. <laughs> And with hell are we at agreement right. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through It shall not come unto us uh -huh. We have made lies our refuge uh -huh. And under falsehood have we hid ourselves So instead of hiding yourself under the spirit of your homicide Which is your heritage you hid yourself under the spirit of wickedness and made that your heritage, man. And Yahweh said, I will grant you that heritage be found out and taken. That's why Yahweh saw us coming like a thief in the night. Which, became, which is why it became your partitioning and your dividing. You know, that's the dividing asunder and partitioning, Doc. Yeah. Not cutting people with scripture. Yeah. Stuff though, what we're talking about is boring or, 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 or evil doctrine or something. Like, 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 like missiles are so uh, interesting. Right, right. Like missiles are so interesting or something. We can't. You know, Jake hate when you talk about stuff that's gonna benefit their spirit nah, nah. and actually get them received up. Yeah, come. Nah. You know, they, they don't like that. Nah, they tune nah. out. They yeah, tune out. Nah. When talk, they like when you talk about how we're gonna grab Edomites by the hair yeah. and, and ravish. Yeah, but this is the thing I was telling the brother Shaw. This is the thing about it. I think I told you this before too. When Jake, when Jake is in prosperity, he don't, he don't have no remembrance of affliction. Huh? That's that's pretty countless examples of that. Huh? So when Jake gets to the kingdom and he had all these kinds of things, you think he really gonna be worried about bashing Edomites? Huh? Yeah, I must see my second one to put the spirit on them to do that, huh? Right, right. <laughs> they ain't gonna go in the kid. They, they gonna be ready to get their rod wet. They ain't gonna be worried about getting their sword wet. Right, 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 right. Get the hell out of here, man. Right. They ain't gonna care about swords being bathed in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna try to get that sword bathed in heavenly cat. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about hurting somebody. <laughs> try loving somebody. <laughs> Good. God, so, uh, <clears throat> prosperity. Prosperity and abundance. Jake loves to speak about prosperity oh and abundance. That's all they talk about, huh? <laughs> like that, that's what the, that, that's what defines you in Jake community, your riches and your possessions. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Our people they love to speak about that. Prosperity and possessions. Um and uh prosperity abundance, but riches is a microcosm of righteousness. You know, we have to understand that. And we know that our people, they put riches on a pedestal right but then they put righteousness low yeah that's you know man, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. so prosperity and abundance you're not going to get the prosperity and abundance that you're looking to get without the righteousness you know our people they love to talk about prosperity and abundance and even within the faith they love to talk about that so much, man. That's like the thing that's, that's the pinnacle. Yeah. Texas, you know, that's the pinnacle. That, yeah, that's what they talk about. That, that's what the kingdom, that's what these guys associate the kingdom with, man. Yeah. Like women, ha having a bunch of multiple women, having gold castles, having uh, stones in abundance, being able to have spiritual power, have slaves, get their balls scrubbed on, and, and, and go to different places. Yeah. That's all they, that's, that's what they associate the kingdom with. They don't even associate all like the kingdom with peace, joy, uh, love, uh, charity, yeah, charity, meekness, you yeah. know what I'm saying, or uh, patience, uh, righteousness. They don't associate it with that. Yeah. Loneliness, Gen gentleness, time, loneliness, time, right. Time. They associate it with all that other stuff. Yeah. Mash it on, it on, on heathen. Yeah. And, 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 and things like that. Huh. Like, but, like, but what Jake don't understand is all those things that we just named are a microcosm of walking within righteousness. You know what I'm saying? So the things that you should be focused on is the righteousness, not focused on getting the gold castles and the women. Right. Focus on the, if you want, oh, I tell you about that, uh, wisdom aside from the desire scepters. scepters. Yeah, if you desire scepters and thrones, desire uh, wisdom mm -hmm. that you may reign everyone. Wisdom is synonymous with righteousness. Yep, yep. And our people, they put prosperity 
they put prosperity over uh, over righteousness. And one example of that is when Yahweh Shai uh, told the man to sell all they have uh -huh. and follow me. Yep. You know, but he went away sad because he had great substance. Uh -huh. So our people, they love that substance, man. Uh -huh. And it made me think about that one in Luke the 12th chapter where it says a man's life does not uh, uh, consist of the things in which he possesses. You know? Yeah, yeah. Or, or the one where Lord Yahweh Shai talked about how uh, deceitful riches and, uh, and and cares of this world uh, choke the word out of them God, uh, because because our people they put a lot of emphasis on these things and they don't understand this stuff can choke the life out of you or or the other one too uh, where it says like uh that fool uh that life should be required of thee you yeah. put all these things up but your life's gonna be required oh yeah tear down the barns and make bigger ones God, uh, yeah yeah um so we got to understand that riches you 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 have to have uh you have to have the righteousness you know you have to have the righteousness that's that's what makes for riches yeah. Don't stop worrying about the riches. Worry about the righteousness. <laughs> the right. riches gonna come with the righteousness. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But tell you about that. Seek, seek ye the uh, thing. Seek ye the Lord first, and all these things see so add unto you. Yeah, 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 yeah. God. Seek pleasing the Lord. <laughs> That's what you need to seek. Stop, stop ple uh, seeking women. Seek pleasing the Lord. But on the contrary, slavery and evilness and adversity is just a microcosm. Of wickedness, right. and sin, and iniquity. Right. You know. Yeah, um, one more time from the top. So prosperity, abundance, and riches is a microcosm of righteousness, and slavery, evil, and adversity is uh, and wicked uh, uh, is a microcosm of wickedness, sin, and iniquity. Right. So there you go, right there. So right. So all the things that Jake want to associate the kingdom with abundance, riches, possessions, uh, that that comes through righteousness. All the things that Jake want to use to identify us as Israelites, that came through wickedness, man. So identify the wickedness that's in your people, man. <laughs> that's the whole point. Yeah. Stop talking about slavery. Slavery is nothing but a microcosm of your wickedness, man. Yeah. So talk about the wickedness that's within you and how you can destroy it. You Stop talking about uh, 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 the, the slavery uh, that, that, that someone brought on you and how you can destroy them. Right. <laughs> that, right. They're not the problem. You're the problem. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so King Solomon, he prayed for righteousness and it brought him riches. Oh yeah, that's true. You know, he prayed for righteousness and then riches came as a result. You know. Um, so if you if you want if you want <laughs> if you want um, a bag, uh huh. Well, go go after righteousness. Yeah, go after righteousness. The Most High and let that overtake you. Uh -huh. You know, you go after righteousness hard enough, the Heavenly Father might even throw you a bone. Uh -huh. See, I, I can testify to that. Heck yeah. I can testify to that like a lot. My whole life done changed since I done started pursuing, at least trying to serve, you know, serve the Lord. Right? right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I can testify to that. Right? So those that profess to be uh, to be Israelites, oh, that's okay. It's okay. It's all right. No worries. No worries. Y'all right. good. Right. We out here to serve people. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. You too. Yeah, so, so, uh, so people that profess, uh, that profess to be Israelites, people that profess to be Israelites, I really do. Damn right. What you say? As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I do. She stopped looking at me. She said, I don't want to be laughed to score. <laughs> I thought they was laughing. Stop. <laughs> they switched and turned the tables up. Freaking Israelite. <laughs> turn it. You thought you were laughing. That's a score. You would have laughed your eyes before. You might be BBC. <laughs> you would have exposed the BBC like that. You would have exposed the BBC like that. <laughs> The spirit of the Lord got exposed. <laughs> so Israelites love uh, they love to have uh, an ego contest. That's another thing about our people. They love to have ego contests. Oh yeah. yeah. That's broadening the phylacteries. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, seeking the uh, the approval of men in the marketplaces. Yeah, uh -huh. You know, these is this is all stuff to stroke your ego. This is an ego contest, and that's what our people. That's that's a, a, another sign. Of who uh, uh, is <laughs> the ego contest? I guarantee my chain bigger than yours. Watch my show. My girl gonna go see uh, see uh, the doctor, and then she gonna get the curves that's gonna trump your lady. So it's about ego contests. Yep.
Yeah. You got the Audi R8, you got the Audi R7, and I got the R8. Right. I got the Hellcat. Yeah, God. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got the deal. <laughs> <laughs> right. I smoke you with this Hellcat. It, it really go back to supplanting. Yeah. That's all that is. Supplanting. Right. Trying to find a way to uh, outrank or out authoritate somebody. Right. One up. That yeah. one up spirit. Yep. So Israelites love to have ego contests. Who's better or more superior? Uh -huh. Who can outrank or supersede the other? Uh -huh. To see if you can one up or have one be one step ahead. Yep. Or who can be in control or who can be the dominating figure? You know, that's that's another that's another uh that's another uh sign of an Israelite. No slavery needed there. We just know. We know this through the scriptures too. That they do stuff like this, man. They try to dominate and, ha and, and have some type of one up on, on, on their people, you know? Um, shoot, that, that happened with, um, matter of fact. How the great we just read in this chapter about how the greatest thing to be here is it good? This is Matthew 23. Like, bro, we just talking about this. Uh, we read uh, 13 out in this chapter earlier, and then it's talking about how the greatest thing to be here is So, we, was make, we were making the point about how our people they love to one up you, they love to do a number two on you. <laughs> you know, oh, it's a song like that. <laughs> I'm sitting on them. Sitting on them. Yeah, that. Yeah. So, uh. Yeah, so Matthew 23. Matthew 23 and 3. Matthew 23, I'll start from the top. Then spake Yahweh Shai to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees. See, that's why he told us to beware of the Pharisees and the, the leaven of the Pharisees and the scribes. Because what they do is that spirit can rub off on you. And a lot of our people have embodied that spirit, man. Then spake Yahweh Shai to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Wow. He's trying to sit in the top Ooh, dog spot. Yeah, that's funny. They want to sit in the top dog spots. Mm -hmm. It says, All uh, therefore, whosoever they bid you observe, that observe and do, but do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. And, that's, uh, and neither are you uh, the sons of Abraham because you are the bloodline, but if you do the works of yeah, Abraham. That's right. Verse 4, for they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves would not move them with one of their fingers. That's, that's these guys. I, uh, uh, call out wickedness in everybody else, but can't call out the wickedness in themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you calling out wickedness, all, all our people looking at stuff these wicked niggas doing. Look at you though. You, you, you make videos about hatred every day. Yeah. And you want to talk about Israelites, man. Get your goofy ass out of here, man. Right. You're a disgrace. You, you, you make videos about cursing your own people. And you want to call Israelites out, man? The most not going to destroy you, man. That's right. If you don't get out of that shit, man. That's right. Hey, man. You better get up out of that. That's, that's who the Lord killing out here, man. Niggas who want to kill their own people, man. That's right. Throw up curses on their own people, man. Are you stupid? Yep. How you gonna say you love the most high and you can't love your own brother, man? You're a joke. That's right. Verse 4. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born. Lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves will not move them with one finger. Verse 5. But all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge borders of their garments. Love the upper, uppermost rooms at the feasts and the chief seats in the synagogues and greetings in the markets and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. But be ye not like called Rabbi. It says, but be not ye called Rabbi. 
For one is your master, even Amasiach, all ye are brethren. All and call no man your father upon the earth. So basically, the point is, is that the ego contest. You know, stop, you, stop worrying about reverencing men. Yeah, right. <laughs> stop reverencing men, man. Reverence your how away your how right. Be a servant. Uh -huh. Stop trying to be superior yeah. and outrank and supersede somebody. You know? Because your how saw he too is who's the first fruits are. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 know, you know, you know the time. You know how sick that is, huh? I was thinking about that the other day too, like getting to Yahweh's size kingdom and then already expecting something. That's like trying to uh, dig into the first fruits. Yahweh, where Yahweh's size supposed to get the first fruits, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you're supposed to let them get the first fruits first and then you come and eat, bro. Yeah. The scripture tells you don't be the first to stick your hand in. God. You can't be the first to put your hand in. Yeah, kind of. Wait around a while. Kinda, yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> bro, and that's what you approve and take when they got to wait. Yeah. When they yep. gotta wait around a little bit, then you see where they at. Yep. You know what I'm saying? When they start to get the itchy and antsy to leave, cause <laughs> cause they can't get what they can get. All the all the reason Jake wanna stick around is to get what they wanna get. Right. Right. And yes. that's why Yahweh your how you how was shot. He got a trick for that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> how you doing, buddy? Right, yeah. All yeah, right, good. Hey, y'all be mind being on camera? You got your my fire interview you? Uh for what you guys stand for? Yeah, no words, no words, brother. You want you yeah. saying you want to interview us? Yeah. Uh, and then it will go on Instagram or Facebook. Can we uh, we kind of in the middle of teaching. Could we just continue teaching and then we just uh like uh well, post it? You guys, you want to uh, ask some questions in the middle of it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, we can like, do that too. Do you mind being on the team? What if we uh, set up a time where we where we meet with you and then we can like. Speak, speak to you about our beliefs and things like that. This is what could be a little bit more orderly. You mind? Yeah, but I don't know. What, I mean, we'll be out here. We come out here every Saturday. Every Saturday? Yeah, every Saturday. I'll give you my number too. We can meet up. Yeah, just, you know, just to, so we can devote our time to you. See, I just go like off the top. You know what I'm saying? Like, just straight up on. Like, That's how know, we usually do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we got viewers too on the home. Um, and that's what we just trying to feed them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Y'all going live? Uh, we're not live, but uh, we just recording them. We're going to put it on YouTube. Uh, we'll, uh, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yo, uh, you got your phone? Uh, put, 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 I'll, I'll get your phone. Okay. Okay. okay, what's your last What's your last name? 313. Whoever has the fucking brand, yeah. you should yeah. fucking bounce, uh -huh. and I'm fucking with Because right now, it's all about Zoom interviews. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm doing about 40 fucking thousand of those. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you know, I and then I, I had one motherfucker that was uh, straight up fucking uh, size, straight up scam. And he said some shit. I said, are you fucking sound here, motherfucker? Yeah. Straight up scam. That's crazy, man. So, yeah, so, then, I said, cool. so then I said, okay, that, that'll go, that'll work, that'll work. What's that, so-called you know, black man? Huh? So-called black man? So-called so black, black man? The black man? Yeah. yeah. No, the white motherfucker. Oh, wow. And I was there and a white lady. And wow. Like, See? And the thing People is, are not labels, huh? Yeah, yeah and the thing is, when, when they said something, I thought he was legitimate until he said, hey, we're going to send you a check, and then you deposit it. Bing. Oh, right man. there, dog, because in the, the minute you take that shit mm -hmm. and deposit it in your fucking bank, they rip your shit off. Oh, wow. It goes right out of your, your check, yeah. right out of your account. Go straight there, and then you can't, you can't trace it. That's crazy. Wow, that's crazy. But man. then if you have a good ass bank, you tell them, hey, they're scamming, and then they get your shit back. If you got proof, they get your shit back at 17, 17 business days. But that's 17 business days, you don't have a fucking money. That's so, crazy. So, so if you, you got a bill paid, yeah. you got your shit. Yeah, now, try to find up. that motherfucker. Man, yeah, it's going to be hard because they're, they're good. They're good at what they do. Yeah, that's crazy. And then they wonder why like, you finally catch them. 
motherfucker, you don't even know what the fuck you deal with me, bitch. You know, you called me not to get my fucking payment. I'm fucked up, and yada yada, and you want to kill that motherfucker. Yeah, that's a dangerous game you're playing, man. Yeah, you, you can't defraud really a person on that shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so what I did was, I said, all right. Then, then I followed this shit again. You know what I mean? I kept the number. So I did a three-way. I called him, and the company was representing. I had them on the other line. Because I, it was a, I've been TV and film production. So it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a TV company. So I called him out and he said, yeah, we've been looking for this motherfucker. I'm going to check this out. We're going to do a three-way. And just listen to this motherfucker. Here's a fucking three-way. You know, and then the lady was like, did you get all your fucking information? Because you still can't get them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, they're very aware of the scam can be scammed because they know this shit. Yeah, yeah right. man. They, 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 they're organized. They, they, made, they made, uh, made it, uh... <laughs> Made merchandise out of you, my yeah. brother. <laughs> God, brother. My goodness, it's man. all good. But it say, uh, the, the Lord, uh, he'll get you back, though. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, I hear the Lord shit. I'm, yeah. I'm down with you on that, but there's a certain point. It's like, fuck. I'm not, I'm not saying fuck the no, Lord. No, 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 I know what you're saying. You know, I know what you're saying. But that's how you got to associate with the Lord. That's the hard part. That's the suffering of the Lord is, is dealing with people BS. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But the way we get through that is by considering the most high how you deal with our BS. You know what I'm saying? That's how we get through it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a problem we all struggle with. And then y'all want to talk about fucking racism and shit. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. You want to talk about racism and shit. Mm -hmm. Now look at me and shit. Mm -hmm. Any fucking where I go, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a fucking time bomb. I'm a fucking time bomb. Okay? Hold well, on, bro. Can we talk to you some more? Because we want to kind of finish this list. Oh, well, do your brother. shit. Did yeah. you call me? Yeah, yeah I hit you up, bro. Let me, let me, let me, I hit you up. I want to get you, uh, get your name in right now. Shit. Yeah, we're okay. definitely on. How late? No, I mean, on my phone, so I. Yeah. My name's Karab, man. I'll tell you that story. It's a lot of your brothers and sisters. Children of the Most High, you know how we know how we know who, uh, who, who, who the so-called uh, Israelites are today in, in, in today's present world, modern day. And um, <laughs> it's 
this is uh, just kind of let's just go back to the Hell of a man. Yeah. Hell of a man. So, where my shit works, you call me 3, 4, 5 in the fucking morning. I don't care because you locked in. Okay. <laughs> so I know who you are and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. 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 that way, too, I know I can hit the motherfucking bill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hell of a love you, bro. Right, yeah, look out, brother. Stay strong. You too, brother. All right, brother. All right. It says, um, Jake is competitive and loves to make everything competition. I was looking this up for one night because me and the brother Shaw was talking. And um, we was like, man, Jake is competitive. And I, and I looked it up and, and competitive is related to or characterized by competition. Ruthless, merciless, aggressive, fierce, dog eat dog, cutthroat. Yeah. And then, and also it goes into uh, the opposite. The opposite of competitive is uh, uh, is uh, ungentle, ungentleman. Ungentlemanly, which when you go into gentleman, it goes into uh, monachmanness, which goes into being charitable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, 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 uh, Jake is uncharitable. That being in that spirit of being in com competitive, uh, I take it all this, it really goes into being that unloving, uncharitable nature that they have. Mm -hmm. you know? Those who oppose themselves. Uh, and then another one is having or displaying a strong desire to be more successful than others. <laughs> right, want to be more successful. Who's going to be greatest in the kingdom? <laughs> oh, yeah! That's, that's fire, huh? God, huh? Yeah, who's going to be greatest in the kingdom? Wow, huh? Who's greatest? Yeah, that's fire. You know, so it's not good enough to just, like, be in there like, like how King David said, I'm a doorman. Like, if I could just be the doorman, I'm good. God. It's like, no, nah, I want to know who's going to be the greatest. Yeah, kind of. Huh? <laughs> My goodness. Yep. At least you made it. <laughs> like that. You ain't happy about that? Right. You got to gotta know who, who at the top of the no. food chain and everything. Right. I ain't happy I made it. <laughs> <laughs> then another one is uh, for this combative. Ready or eager to fight. Pugnacious, he made. Yeah, basically being ready or eager to fight. Just like they take was. He was like, man, you just get to a point on the top. I'm, I'm ready to throw some hands. Right. That's how Jake hit. Me and the brother was talking last night. Jake was just like, shit, sometimes you want to throw your hands up, huh? Even though you the scripture saying? says you can't be a brawler. You're not supposed to be a brawler. Kind of. But then they, they'll flip the script and make it and make it so that they can fight in the name of the Lord. Oh, yeah. Or and they'll do it, too, with scriptures, too. Yeah, they'll like, say, oh, you can be oh, slide. Yo, you got to go ahead. Huh? They, they'll say things like, they'll say things like, uh, but we have to earnestly to, um, uh, contend for the faith. Yeah, kind of. You know, we have to fight the good fight of faith. Yeah. You know, they're thinking that they got to, like, actually physically fight. Oh, God, huh? Yep. Good God, huh? Yeah, fight, fight. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's, that's the question. Instead of fighting how the rules tell you to fight, right. Jake got to fight how he want to fight. Of course. <laughs> Jake, Jake can't come. <laughs> this is like a boxer putting some extra shit in their gloves, huh? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or, or, <laughs> or taking steroids or something. Right. Like, I, I can't just fight. I can't fight without the steroids, man. You know, I got to have an extra advantage. Jake, Jake has to be advantages over you. Worst case, don't pull a flick out. Worst case. <laughs> then you get that one and two and something about the advantage of it. This is two, one and sixteen. These are murmurers, uh -huh. complainers. Oh, they, we were just talking about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's safe. Uh, they, yeah. Oh, that's what they do, murmur and complain. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, all they want to do is, uh, instead of uh, instead of talking about, complaining about their selves, they complain about something else, mm -hmm. you know? And murmurs, instead of talking about the evil that they're doing, they, they murmur against somebody else. Yep. It's walking after their own lusts. That's safe. <laughs> and their mouth speaketh great swelling words. Uh -huh. Having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. Yeah, that's what they look for. Jake always looking for advantage, huh? yeah. a way to be advantages. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Ambitious to, to a fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Okay, so, uh, okay, you. 
driven by So the scripture speaks about having your face as hard as a flint against the faces of, of, of those that are opposing you. You know, they, um, so it shows that our people are hard-hearted and iniquity. They basically endure hardness as good soldiers to the flesh. <laughs> 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 Zechariah 7 and 12. <laughs> Zechariah 7 and 12. Yay. They made their hearts as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law of the words which the Lord of hosts had sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Therefore it has come to pass that as he cried and they would not hear, so they cried and I would not hear, saith the Lord of hosts. <laughs> God, so they made themselves hard as flint. And that's that hard-heartedness. Yeah, that, that, that competition. Yeah. That's, that, that, that competitive nature is, 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 is the, that's a part of the fault that's in Jake. <laughs> They're enduring hardness as a good soldier of Satan. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, right? Oh, <laughs> yep. So oh. they got their heart, they, they face as hard as flint, huh? To, 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 to represent their uh their vain, evil, fleshly purposes, huh? That's our people. That's another identification of our people. And another point to our people is time our people you quote unquote Israelites want to perpetuate righteousness uh -huh. is when it comes through promoting your flesh uh -huh. vanity evil purposes that's the only time you want to promote righteousness that, which means that you're uh you're preaching your how uh uh what does it say preach uh, 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 for contention, for contention. Uh -huh. yep. you're so, preaching your how for contention God, God. you know you're doing it you're acting like you're promoting righteousness, but you're using it. You're using that angle uh -huh. to uh, to basically turn it into a whooping stick. Yeah, that's that's, that's sick. Huh? Yeah, that's sick as it gets. Huh? Yeah. That's our people. Yeah, that's what our people do. You know, that's the that's the, that that shows you how wicked they are. Points to identify our people too. 
<laughs> but we're gonna get some freeze real quick. Just right. just leave y'all with a couple freeze. And Simon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel. That's that part Uh-huh. <laughs> and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Uh-huh. Yep. And, that, and that's by the, by the man of perdition. <laughs> yep. So Yahweh Shai identifies reformed Israelites through his spirit and also rebellious Israelites. So he, he, what he does is he, he points out that certain individuals are going to be, um, um, you know, people that, that want to identify themselves according to carnality as, as being children of God. You know, they want they identify themselves to carnality instead of the spirit. You know, that's that's another example of that. Um, Galatians 3 and 26. Sit break. <laughs> it's like it's a little parched. <laughs> a little parched. Galatians 3, 26. For ye are all the children of the Most High by faith in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. That's how you're a child of the Most High. <laughs> That's what makes you a child. I told you this guy, you know, you know. <laughs> and then skim over that. <laughs> That's all they do, huh? Let's go to Esau script. Right. You are a child of the Most High through slavery. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a child of the Most High through a Mashiach. And how do you know that? You have to measure yourself up to Yahweh Shai. That's what you're measuring yourself up yeah, just, to. Yeah, until you become to that perfect stature. Until you come to that perfect stature. Until we all come to the unity of faith. It's anybody that feeds the fourth chapter if you want to know about it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, I don't want to read that. <laughs> 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 Me too. <laughs> verse 29, jump to verse 29. And if ye be Hamashiachs, then ye are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Yes. So that's the only. That, don't be talking about no Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob if, you're, if you ain't associated with Yahweh Shah. You might as well forget that. You're, you're not. Uh, yeah, so read the precept one more time, bro. You are not a child of the Most High God. Uh -huh. Galatians 3 and 23. 
But before Faith came, uh, Salakia. Yeah. This is uh, Galatians 3 and 20. Six. Sorry. Galatians 3 and 26. No for ye are a child of the Most High by faith in Yahweh Shai. God, Shai. yes. So you're not an Israelite unless you're justified through faith in Yahweh Shai my Shai. And faith in Yahweh Shai my Shai don't mean just believing him. Because a lot of you guys believe in another Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely not even there. You know what I'm saying? But even if it was just, I mean, that's even if it was just based upon belief, which it's not. You know, faith is not based upon belief. Faith is based upon works. Mm -hmm. Verse 29. And if you be a Mashiach, then ye are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Yeah, so if you be a Mashiach, <laughs> Yahweh size, you're of the seed of Abraham. If you're not a Mashiach, you're not of the seed of Abraham. <laughs> so stop talking about Israelites. Right. You're a degenerate plant. <laughs> <laughs> you're a seed that fell by the wayside. <laughs> <laughs> God, You're a spilled seed. <laughs> you hit the tuna. <laughs> Faith in Yahweh Shai is first and most important because this shows the visibility of the Most High and His Son in creatures. Woo! We have to put Yahweh Shai on to be a true Israelite. That was prophesied about in the last days from the seed of David, i.e. Abraham is determined by the spirit of Yahweh Shai, which can be identified in you now our, by our manner of life. And that makes us Israelites. So basically our zeal towards the suffering of Yahweh Shai or our zeal towards iniquity in the flesh, that makes you either a son of the Most High or not. That's a hell of a break. That's a hell of a break. Come. Let's go right to the next one. This is Romans 9 and 4. <laughs> right, let's go to Lamentations 2 and 17. Lamentations 2 and 17. <laughs> right, this is Lamentations 2 verse 17. <clears throat> The Lord hath. Hello. You say what? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Lord willing, it's the image of the Lord. <laughs> Limitations 2 and 17. The Lord hath done that which he hath devised. Uh -huh. He has fulfilled his word that he had commanded in the days of old. He hath thrown down and hath not pity, and he hath caused thine enemy to rejoice over thee. He hath set up the horn of thine adversaries. <laughs> this is the identification. Oh, you got it. Out. That's nice. Yeah, he has set up the uh, the identity. Uh, uh, he has set up the horn of thine adversaries. So he fulfilled the word that he commanded in the days of old, which means that he's done all the wickedness that he said. Or he's done all the, uh, the the evil that he said he was going to do against the people of Israel. Yes. Which was going to be that sign that was on you. Which was going to be the iniquity that was going to be on you. <laughs> so the nation that has not been pitied, the most high, uh, that has not been pitied throughout history. And most currently, the nation that has been thrown down and had the chief of their adversaries set up against them. And rejoice against them steadfastly. That's, the, that's the us. Because of our iniquity. <laughs> Acts 7 and 51. Acts 7 verse 51. It reads, 
ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did, so do ye. So Stephen was detailing the Israelites as stiff necked and also uncircumcised in heart and ears, which is a metaphor for those whose heart and ears are covered and whose soul and senses are closed to divine admonition. So our people can also be identified by their ignorance to the divine will of the heavenly father. Jeez. <laughs> and that's the key way to identify Jake too, because they they they're, they're completely absentee when it comes to uh, the will of God. Right? That's right. Huh? <laughs> oh, that was uh, Acts seven. It's a lot. Acts seven and fifty one. I got you, brother. This is Acts seven. And 51, ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did, so do ye. <laughs> Stephen, the Stephen, also detailed Israelites as stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, which is a metaphor for those whose heart those whose heart and ears and ears are covered i.e. whose soul and senses are covered are closed to divine admonition so our people can also be identified by their ignorance to the divine will of the heavenly father yeah God and, and that's a key and that's a key identifying uh, factor in, in, uh, in Israelites huh? They're completely absentee in mind when it comes to what the will of Yahweh is in righteousness. Huh? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand it. Huh? That's right. Huh? They, they do not get that. Huh? Yeah. Like, why would God do this? Or why is God allowing this to happen? Right. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they're completely absentee when it comes to the will of God. Yeah. Huh? yeah huh? They think that the Most High just loves them just willy-nilly yeah god I, I love you because you're righteous because right, you god. have to because you because of your order the order that i've put within you god I, you know that's the will of the most high not just like you're just so special yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm so dope and ill that's why the most high loves me yeah you're not interpreting his will the right exactly. way you know you it's know. very very quick yeah um and there was another point i was gonna say about that too about how you read that last point so I can try to remember it. Yeah, they don't know how to interpret the will, the intention of the Heavenly Father. That's okay. why they don't know the will of the Lord. Oh, yeah, another point. Here, here you go. Because <laughs> <laughs> you'll get one percent for we be right back on the song. Oh, yeah. Fire, right? Yeah, you got them. I wish I could have gotten this one. <laughs> Where are we at? Oh, we just read. Uh, uh, oh, the Psalms 96. Psalms? Yeah, Psalms 96. Yep. Psalms 9 and 16. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. Uh -huh. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Yeah, the, the Lord is known by the judgments in which he executed. And this is a, a, a key identif the, the cool. identification cool. Of, of, of Israelites. They'll, uh, they'll equate the judgments of the Heavenly Father with what they think judgment is supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody dies, they think that the Heavenly Father wanted them to die. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the key identification of Israelite life. Not understanding what you how about the operations in the hands of the Lord. They're not regarding the operations of the Lord. Yeah. That's what yeah. our people do. You know, the works and the operations, man. It's not about all about death and life, man. There's work and operation. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. There's uh what's the uh, what's that other word we used to uh, uh workmanship. Yeah, workmanship, God. What uh, you know? They don't understand work with shit, huh? Yeah, God. God. There's some there's certain things that are just you know uh the most high has set it up and it's on autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's on right. autopilot, it's like death follows this action. Yep, uh -huh. You know, if this if oh, this this is this is the mechanism. Death, then the mechanism gets to working and then 
this is the result. They go back to what we were touching on earlier about uh, riches, possessions, and abundance being a microcosm of righteousness, uh -huh. and iniquity, sin, death being a, a microcosm of wickedness. Yeah, that's right. Most High has created certain mechanisms, God. certain things. God. You know, that's part of a system. You know, so it's not it's not so much that He wants it to be that way. It's just that it's part of a greater system. God. He takes no pleasure in the death of the wicked, Goofy. You gotta be able to interpret, interpret the will and the intentions of God like his brother always going to. <laughs> we pray that you were edified. Huh. We want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Shalom to the uh, people, to the people of the, uh, of, the, of the Most High, the chill children of the Most High God. God, Lord willing, we gave more uh, instant, uh, edification on how you identify us as a people. And then also, if we did give you edification on how you further identify us as a people, then we need to start soaring more into righteousness and find out how we can defeat the iniquity that's within ourselves. That's right. So that the Most High can deliver us, Lord willing. That's right. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Shalom.